How's it going guys? I'm Staff Sergeant Nicholas Agosta, Loadmaster at the 143rd Operations Squadron. And today we're gonna to be going over some of the equipment a Loadmaster has in the back of a C-130J. So today we're gonna to start in this corner with some body armor and a survival vest. We typically use this stuff in a deployed environment, especially you know when we're flying over hostile areas. The body armor has two Kevlar plates in it that we wear at all times from takeoff to landing to make sure that we're safe, heaven forbid, we run into some enemy fire. Along with that, we have a survival vest. Inside this, you can find an assortment of things such as a compass, a med, med module, a tourniquet, knives, things that you would need in case you were in a survival situation to get out safely and effectively and make sure you return home. Over here, guys, we have the PCU-17P restraint harness. Loadmasters wear this restraint harness anytime we're doing an airdrop operation. They have a 13-year shelf life and they get inspected every year. A Loadmaster will put this harness on during the airdrop prep and hook it up to the floor prior to going near an exit of an airplane. This way we're safe in performing our jobs, making sure nobody falls out of the aircraft. Right here, guys, we have the Quick Dawn Mask Scott 358 Series Portable Oxygen Bottle. Loadmasters will pre-fit this and just in case we had a wrap and decompression or smoke and fumes inside the aircraft. When you wear this, you're able to walk around portably and breathe oxygen in case there was an emergency in the back of the airplane and you needed to see how to fix it in a timely manner to make sure everything and everybody on the plane is safe and you guys get to where you need to go. Over here, guys, we have the HGU 55P Helmet. This helmet is worn during airdrop operations, similar to the, uh, to the harness. We put this on in the beginning of the airdrop preps. We're able to still communicate with our crew, with our, our comm right here. We also have an MBU 20P oxygen mask that gets connected and pre-breathe anytime we fly. This allows us to breathe oxygen in the back of the airplane in case of an emergency, similar to the portable oxygen bottle. Over here, guys, we have the AN ABS-9 night vision goggles. During nighttime operations in the back of the airplane, we mount this to our helmet and are able to operate airdrops in nighttime environments. Also, for engine running onload offloads in covert environments, we wear this and we're able to do our job of onloading and offloading cargo personnel or whatever needs to come on and off the airplane in completely blacked out operations. Over here, we have a BA-1822 backpack parachute. This is used in a bailout emergency procedure in the back of the C-130. This parachute has two operations, an automatic and a manual way to uh, pull out that parachute. That automatic is done over 14,000 feet and it has a four second delay. That manual is done under 14,000 feet and you mainly rip it immediately pulling out that parachute. On the bottom of this, you have an ML4 survival kit. This survival kit consists of one single man life raft, some water, sea dye markers, and a survival uh, and a raft survival repair kit. If you were to go down over water, you would manually inflate that, hop on in, and just float around and hopefully be rescued in a safe and timely manner. So again, guys, I'm Staff Sergeant Nicholas Agosta, and this is just some of the equipment that a loadmaster uses in their day-to-day -day operation to complete the mission. We're always looking for motivated individuals to be a part of the 143rd Airlift Squadron as loadmasters. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself by following us on Instagram at 143D underscore loadmasters.